It's me. That pocket secretary in Hong Kong. It went live a few seconds ago, just long enough to shoot out a message. You intercepted it? Yeah, but it's cryptic. Looks like meeting in session. Proceed with delivery. Key 2202. Champagne! Brown! How much have you all had? You're a little late to the party, Mr. Jensen. We already drank. And your lives are in danger. It's been dosed with a poison. You're, you're talking about an assassination attempt. That is, I hope we can call it an attempt. This is a neutralizer for the poison. We can administer it to you and your guests here. A neutralizer? Not an antidote? It should halt the poison. Then TF-29 will get you all to a hospital. The convention was attacked, Brown. There have already been casualties. They came to stop you. This is my fault. I believe that having the eye of the world on us would dissuade them, and I played right into their theatrics. Right now, let's focus on getting everyone treated and evacuated. McCready, you there? 
Of course. Gentlemen, ladies, you heard Mr. Jensen. Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his Safe Harbor Convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations it stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? Live we won! From Did we? We completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Pikus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Soldiers follow orders, too. He was prepared to obey his, no matter the consequences. Sounds like you're sorry he's dead. He made his choice, I made mine. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Paige. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you, he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? Criminals may have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors circulating the internet, Czech State Police were called to investigate at the Palisade Property Bank after bank security guards exchanged heavy gunfire with an augmented assailant. It is not known at this time what fault the assailant was after, or if in fact, he successfully broke in. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening, claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that. Rumors. Between you and me, folks, I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism 
ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikolatze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikolatze has gone off the grid and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samostat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The Radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a Radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samistad rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks, no matter what name these people go by. There is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news.